Hey, you gonna make the Halloween scene? Yeah, I'm going as Junior Miss Porn Princess. I figure I'll save a lot of money on a costume that way. Don't be so down on yourself. Well, I could always go as me. Problem is, there are so many me's to choose from. I heard Brooke say something about making caramel apples for the trick-or-treaters. Why bother? Four out of five parents agree. Kids already got enough eye candy on the internet, thanks to me. Well, you want to stick around here and catch the creature feature on TV? I have to go to the youth center. Oh, Halloween party? The board's meeting to discuss my early work as a nude model. Everybody's a critic. Do you think they'll fire you? It's not a stretch. You're not planning to renege on our agreement to keep each other's secrets, are you? Nobody will ever know that you took those photos. I'm not just trying to save my own neck, you know. You saved mine. That counts. Brooks had enough disappointments lately. I don't want to pile on any more hurt. Yeah, well, unfortunately, there's no way to save her this. I mean, the center's bound to say I'm a bad influence on the KIDS. Laura, people are always going to be throwing stones. But cut and run? Nah, that's not you. You take your hits. Only when I can't dodge them. You know running's not the answer. You've done a lot of things to be proud, and you walk into that meeting with your head held high, and you look them dead in the eye. Whatever else happens, they're going to know what Brooke knows. You've got what it takes. Listen, honey, you don't have to face them alone. I'll go with you. Thanks, but this is... This is something I, I really need to do by myself. Rafe's got guts. He'll probably stick with you. You don't really know somebody till you've been in the trenches with them, Laura. Well, you guys really showed up for me. Thank you. I am here whenever you need me. And even when you don't. <laughs> okay. I better go before I chicken out. All right, good luck. Hang in there, kid. I heard what you said to her. Well, the kid needed a pep talk. She needed a shot of courage and you gave it to her. You know, it's not the first time that you've come through for my daughter. Nah, forget it. I mean, what kid her age hasn't messed up? Oh. I missed you. I missed you, too. I still do. Hmm. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, there you are. I wondered when you were going to come back to me. Oh, would you believe it? I had to run out for some ice. Mm, more likely your thoughts were with Laura. It just seems unfair. You know, she, she wins one battle just to go on to, to another one. Life's not going to beat her down, Brooke. She's a fighter. It's a real 180 from the old days, huh? Well, you didn't know her back then. No, but she's told me about her past. I'm pretty bleak. It's just that Laura thought, you know, that, that all of that was left behind her. Well, you know, with enough love and encouragement, people can overcome anything. Well, that sounds like a story there. <laughs> what? I was just thinking, um, you've never told me about your, your childhood. Oh, well, I was very precocious. I just skipped childhood altogether. <laughs> mm -hmm. You did. You're right. Well, what about your family? Oh, you know, I was pretty much always on my own. Pretty early age, I decided I preferred anonymity. I guess maybe that's why I became a photographer. Do you remember your first camera? Do I remember? Are you kidding me? Oh, ten years old. Oh. I saw an ad on the back of a comic book. 
you know, one of those deals where you send in seed packets or something like that, and you get points towards a prize. Yeah. And one of the prizes was a camera. So I sent away, and I thought I was going to get this beautiful Japanese 35 millimeter thing, right? Mm -hmm. I got this little piece of plastic that looked like something you would get, you know, in a throwaway line at the grocery store. Oh, were you very disappointed? No, I was ecstatic. I didn't know the difference. I mean, I ran out immediately. But you know what? I was not going to waste one frame of film. No little pictures for this guy. No. It had to be big, important pictures. You know, pictures made a statement. <laughs> God save the world from people like us who want to save the world. Yes, indeed. And then one day, I realized that while I was looking for the big picture, I was missing out on all these minor miracles that were happening all around me. So I put the camera down and I told myself I wasn't going to take any more pictures until I learned how to see. I mean, really see. And you know, that's what Laura's doing now. How do you mean? Well, before she saw herself as a victim, now I think because of you, she sees herself as a survivor. And I bet that before this is all over, there's going to be a picture of Laura that will put all those other pictures to shame. became a photographer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What? And what about your friends in New York? Don't you miss your old life? I had no life before you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are very romantic. Albeit evasive. Jim Thomason, man of mystery, won't you let me come in just a little bit? Yeah, come in right here. <laughs> Oh, Laura, honey. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Why? You're not the one who ruined my life. The center fired you? I didn't stick around for the verdict, but Dawn called it like she saw it, and she is right. I mean, I am, I'm a cheap loser who lied about who I am and where I came from. You made a mistake. Laura, it's not your fault. You were a minor, and you were used shamelessly. And honey, that shame is not going to go away unless you agree to tell me who took the pictures. Laura, listen to me, all right? You're not going to get your life back until we find the scum who's responsible and until he's put behind bars. Judging up the past isn't going to help. Honey, you didn't take those photographs, so why should you be the one who suffers? I just, I just want this to be over. Look, I, I'm going to bed. Oh, poor kid. I feel for her. This is not over because Laura wills it. Brooke, there's nothing you can do about there it. The hell there isn't. You heard what Laura said. She's in pain. People blame her because she's the victim, and that is what she is. She's the victim of some pervert who's probably out there doing the same thing to other kids that he did to her. Luring poor, innocent kids into posing for those degrading, dehumanizing photographs. And I am not going to rest until I find the scum who's responsible and I see that he's put behind bars. Look, New York is a very big city. <laughs> I don't care. I have Tempo at my disposal. I'll call in favors. I'll lobby Congress if I have to. I'm going to use every resource available, and I'm going to nail that slimy creep up against the wall. <laughs> 